Yo, what is up guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2. Specifically, we're going to be talking about how amazing, and I mean amazing, the throwing knife for the new bottom tree solar is for hunters. So let me tell you right off the bat that I'm not going to lie. I thought this was going to be a bad, a bad one for us. I thought we were going to be like, okay, cool. Like we're getting a really shitty like knife throw that has a lot of, uh, wind up time and then we'll probably never i'll probably never get a headshot with because it's a knife ultimately i was wrong they added a lot of stickiness to the knife which i really appreciate because i'm actually a horrible shot but i do know that if people that are shitty can use it then the god players can use it pretty much every time i get that but like it's awesome when i can do this So for me, I really do appreciate it. So let me tell you guys the changes that I got that this subclass got. So first perk is knock them down and precision kills increase weapon stability and handling. Your super does more damage when cast while this buff is active with 20 seconds or more seconds remaining. This is actually really good. It almost gets close to Celestial Nighthawk damage. Not by much, but I mean, it's almost there. And that's insane that you can do that off, off of a base, like just with no exotic equipped, which means that you can use other things other than Celestial Nighthawk. Although, I mean, there is more things to do with knock them down. Like you have to get headshots. You have to get a bunch of headshots in order to get the, up to the 22nd mark. And then after that, you have to maintain the 20 seconds. And then after you can pop your super and do the damage. And then you have to get three headshots for the full damage to come out while Celestial Nighthawk, it's literally just put the helmet on and just don't miss the one shot. That's it. So I do think that the ease of use of Celestial Nighthawk is still unmatched. It's still, you don't have to get like six, seven headshot kills and then pop your super and miss and do not miss the three headshots. So for me, I would still use Celestial Nighthawk, but like if I'm chilling and just like not really needed for DPS, then I would be using this with uh, something else, to be honest. So it's it has its pros and its cons. Now the weighted knife, this is where it comes into play. Throw a knife that deals extra precision damage. Precision knife kills with this melee ability, we immediately recharge it. This is amazing. The fact that they gave us the recharge to it, I was not expecting. And I know a lot of people are already bitching about this. Hunters have a one hit kill, this is fucking bullshit. Even though Titans and Warlocks have had one and theirs is probably even worse considering they have one with a grenade and the fucking Titans just destroy people if they're huddled up. So, I mean, like whatever, to each their own. But yeah, I think that, that like them giving us not only the ability to one shot with, with a throwing knife, but immediately recharging it, I was just like, I mean, I'm not going to bitch about it, but thanks. <laughs> uh, the next one's going to be practice makes perfect. Enter a trance with each precision hit, reducing the cooldown of your golden gun. This one, they changed a bit as well. I think they changed the timing, if I remember correctly, but I'm not too sure. This one's pretty dope. I actually do like it a lot. And then we have line them up. Enables precision damage with golden gun precision hits with golden gun generate orbs of light increases its damage and extends its range and our duration on my bad and this one's fine i mean i don't have an issue with it it's just you get one kill and then or i'm sorry you get one headshot with this and it increases your damage and its duration so i mean it's fine but it's still three kills so i mean whatever in pvp this is this super is still kind of like whatever to be honest it's the fact that the weighted knife and like maybe the practice makes perfect. These two are what's making it viable in PVP because you can get your super back more if you get your headshots. So, which is literally what the fucking subclass is called. It's way of the sharpshooters. So it is really nice to see them be like reward people who hit their headshots, even though when they nerfed the uh, Luna's how they were like, no, yeah, people are getting headshots. That's what they're going to be doing. So we shouldn't reward that. What the fuck? What? So, 
from all those changes, I feel like the really cool part about this whole thing is the fact that now I'm not using just one subclass. I actually use Solar, Arc, and I think actually surprisingly Void is the one I use least now. It's, it's really crazy because not too long ago, Way of the Wraith was the one I used the most, obviously for the wall hacks, but even still like the invisibility was nice, but I think if they really wanted to change it up and like wow me more, the way they would have done it is make me invisible when I crouch. Give me that, give me that back, please. <laughs> but this is not going to be a long video. I just really wanted to gush over the fact that I can kill people with a blade now with a headshot. And I actually wanted to show some of these crazy ass plays that I have. Not only that, but I really do appreciate that we actually finally have a one hit kill. Granted, I have seen a lot of people say we don't need one hit kills in the game. Oh, I feel you. I definitely feel you. But that's not that type of game that we're playing. If Bungie really wanted to take out one hit kills, we would they would have done it by now. We, we wouldn't see any supernova grenade. We wouldn't see any shoulder charges for all of the fucking subclasses that they have. And we wouldn't see the, the blade. But that's not the type of game they want to make. They really wanted to just to make a, something that's not competitive and just stupid fun, which is fine, I guess. I don't really, I don't really care. Uh, PVP people, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. I personally do not mind it at all, mostly because I don't take this game seriously, PVP-wise. I've never taken it seriously, PVP-wise, so that's probably where my thought process comes into play, where I never viewed Destiny to be a competitive shooter. I never have, and I probably never will, to be honest. I've never seen it at that level where... Because it's most of the time, it's not about gunplay. It's mostly just about who has super abilities and shit. And it used to be about gun skills back in one day, but it's not anymore, unfortunately. And I do I do agree that it should be based on weapon skills more than just abilities and whatnot. So for me, I really love the bladed knife, but it does bring issues of like, well, it's not helping the gun versus gunfight anymore. It's more just like who can do crazy ability shit, which for me, Destiny has always thrived at being like an arcade shooter. It's never been a competitive shooter for me. So it's really whatever's to me. Uh, it's Destiny. I have stopped caring a long time ago and I just I just feel numb to it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the changes that the Hunters got. I know I'm really late on this, but I have literally not been wanting to touch Destiny forever because I uh, fuck this game. But yeah, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys still playing Destiny 2? I'm actually almost at rank 100 and that's actually me trying to get up to 100 So that way I can get the helmet for my Titan for a build that I'm trying to do uh, When I say build I'm mostly talking about fashion frame Mostly because I do love the fashion in this game or not fashion, but like yeah, actually the fashion That's pretty much all the game is for me and the end game is just all right Let me get all the armor so that way I can look cool and even then the armor is uh, yeah, it's uh, fifteen dollars for armor now. So, at that point, I might as well go back to Warframe because at least Warframe, I actually want to spend money there because that practices they do is awesome. But that's another type of video that I'll probably always do or probably do it later. But yeah, uh, thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. I love the fact that I just hit three hundred subscribers. I think I hit three hundred subscribers. At least that's what it tells me. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about literally anything destiny to relate in the comments below and like yeah later <laughs>